last intro because I have birds all around me. I got in here just a tad late, but I couldn't figure out where they were at, so I probably got three or four behind me, and I know at least two up in front. These guys haven't gobbled in a little while. I really hope they didn't see me start, like, setting up, but I got the decoys out. I'm ready to go. It is, uh, what is it, April 18th. Last three days have been pretty, uh, pretty boring. I've seen some, some, seen some turkeys, seen Dom, seen hens, but they're way far off. And I just can't get in an area where I can get them to see my decoys. So I haven't been able to do much, and they've been hand up quite a bit. So what can you do? Trying to beat all the snow and the rain. I mean, you can kill turkeys in the weather, but it definitely doesn't help when it drops an inch of snow on you. So I had to run in here real quick. So. All set up. We're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna give them a couple calls. It's gonna be quick. I don't think I'm gonna be able to see them when they come. I got this little bend around me in this corner of this field. That was the only way I could set up without them knowing um, that I was actually in here. So I'm gonna stop yapping and start calling and getting them to see if they can commit in here. So Whew. let's see what happens. Crossing the fingers. Still got some birds behind me, but that was a really nice Tom. He had just had no interest in fighting. I wonder if it's because I think there's a group of them behind me, and they're uh, probably been bullying him a little bit. I know there was a big Tom in here like that just three or four days ago with uh, 
like a really big group of hens in here and now they're all split up so it could be because of these guys behind me so hopefully these guys want to play with the decoys a little bit and we can get them coming in but that's how it happens just because I see them doesn't always mean they're going to come in so he only had two hens with him so he'll be lonely here pretty soon So I went ahead and made a move. I got out of that lower field. Pretty much what I've observed over the last couple days is eventually these hens are going to want to go up and try to basically get away from the toms. Uh, like these other hens that were with that tom had no interest in him and they basically were just trying to get up and away from him. Uh, so they're going to want to start going uh, to nest and sit on some eggs. So as they move their way up, these toms are going to follow. But the only thing is I'm hoping they start losing them here and those toms are going to have to start searching. So basically what I did is I set up on this uh, logging road and even if they are down below me and get up in the clear cut above me, they should be able to see my decoys. And if they're up above me in this logging road to my left, which is a little bit higher elevation, as they come out, they should be able to see my decoys as well and come down. So it's a pretty good spot basically just be able to see everything and I if I see them down below where I can maybe possibly make another move it's gonna be tough um, but we might be able to do it it's one of those things with so much equipment um, trying to do it with a bow in a blind uh, it's a little hard to make a, a big move I mean I probably only went I don't know probably about 500 yards and uh, it was definitely a workout getting everything semi packed up and up here but that's okay uh, it's only about 7.30, so we didn't sit in there very long, but as those birds moved up above me, there was no point in staying in there. They're not going to drop back down until probably later in the afternoon, and uh, I don't want to wait that long. I'm not going to be that patient. So uh, we've definitely made it a little bit of aggressive move, but it should be good uh, at least to be able to see some birds. It was nice seeing that one this morning, so we'll give it a shot sit here for a couple hours it might take a couple hours for these birds to make their way up uh, i definitely saw some below me um, before i made my way up and i heard some right as i got here uh, right down below me and what it is is behind me it's big timber so they do have some trails coming up through i watched them yesterday uh, come up a trail just down uh, below me a little bit um, so hopefully they start making their way out to these clear cuts and we get a chance I got one guy fired up right behind me. He's, I don't know if he's up on the road yet or not, but he's pretty close. So we're gonna have to start getting ready. Bad thing about this setup is the sun's kinda coming in here. That's why it's really important to wear black. So I'm hoping the fog kinda covers the sun up a little bit, but I'll be smart when I draw if he does come in, so. I think he's getting close. He's answering every time. I mean, he's right there. I know it's not the one that I saw this morning, so that's one from lower. He's eventually making his way up, so we'll just see what happens here.
well, that worked out perfect. Came right down the road, ran right into the spread. Exactly what you wanted. Uh, but called in the grandkids. Didn't really want them coming in, but that's uh, part of the fun. Yeah, seeing them come in and interact with the decoys and not really know what to do. And basically like a teenager. Um, <laughs> anyways, so they're they're moving off down the hill. They're still got one every time I call. So I'm going to wait until they get away a little bit. So maybe I might be able to hear something else. Uh, now we just need Grandpa. You call him in. So they're around. There's probably another group down here um, that just aren't talking right now. But I know they usually hang out down below in this clear cut so just a waiting game we'll just keep sitting here and hopefully another uh <laughs> another bird comes into the spread not those uh yeah they're sitting down there in the road gobble <laughs> so i'm pretty much wrapping up the day it's about 12 o'clock and nothing's been happening for like the last hour yeah so i mean I could stay, but I really don't want to pressure these birds and try to get too close to their roost when they're trying to get into their roost. So I'm not really worried about it. I got a lot of season left. I might go somewhere else tomorrow and uh, maybe check some place out. This, this spot needs like two more days. I, I got to see uh, right up here a couple heads. I know there's toms. Those are the toms that I was figuring that we're going to come in, but I, I heard a couple hens clucking and I saw them walk up the ridge. I just wasn't able to film them. So one of those things where we're still kind of in the pre-rut of, uh, with these turkeys. But the thing is, is they, as long as they got hens, there's no reason for them to go ahead and leave their hens. They already have them. But what I've noticed is every bigger dominant tom has lost hens every day I've been up here so like the one that I saw I know that had to be one of the ones that started out with about 14 now he's down to two so it's just a matter of time I think I might just give it one more day and then come back here maybe Friday it's supposed to be uh really really nice on Friday so that'd be good and it won't get below freezing I think it's going to be the low is going to be like 45 so that's be perfect so all right well I'm going to get the rest of my stuff packed up and we're gonna head out of here.
There's a bearded hen in there too. <clears throat> well, one down. Okay, so it's April 23rd and we finally got one. <laughs> it's, it's been a struggle. These birds have just been completely henned up. And like this morning, I knew they were roosting up in these trees to the left of me and I saw them land down the road. Here they come. I figured they'd be in perfect range for the bow, come right into the decoys. But those two hens that, that these guys had just were not having it. And these are the same birds I've been working for the past couple days. Um, I just, I finally figured I'd just brush in the blind. I'd get it right on the this old logging road where I know that they're going to go. Um, and I, just in case, I brought the gun today. <laughs> so that was a good choice. So I ended up taking the strutter. He's the biggest one. Uh, I'm stoked. Still got one more tag in Idaho and I have two in Washington. I might be heading down to some of my old honey holes down in uh, eastern Washington. Maybe southeastern Washington. Give it a shot down there. So I'm excited to go do that and take a little road trip. But he's an absolutely beautiful bird. He's a nice eastern. He's got about a nine inch beard. Nice and heavy. The other one looked pretty good too, but the thing is, is I know there's a couple other birds in here that are bigger. So that just gives me hope I can come back and find some others. These were all the birds um, that were in this spot. And there was actually a bearded hen with them. I think I got her on film. Um, but there's another one down here going crazy. And then one a little closer to me uh, that was gobbling a lot too. So, man, I'm happy to get one on the board. They've been kicking my butt. But a ton of fun. I knew I was in the thick of it when they hit the road. It's like as long as they just make their way down here just a little bit, I'd be in good shape. But he's awesome. So I just want to do a little recap as I'm uh, headed out of here. I'm headed home now. It's not even 8 o'clock. It's 7.49 and uh, we got one bird down. It's April 23rd. Really happy I was able to get that bird. Um, it's been super tough hunting with the snow and the rain. And you know, it wouldn't be that bad, but I'm trying to film. So having that camera out in that weather is a little scary to me, but it was fine. We got one. Um, I'm going to be heading down to southeastern Washington where I used to live and uh, trying to get some birds down there. I got two tags down there. I still have one tag up here. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun going back to where I used to hunt. I got some good spots. We'll see if there's still any birds there. Um, I, I'm really thankful to be able to hunt the spot that I do. I, I have a really good friend that allows me to trespass through his property to get state land. I would have absolutely no way really of even knowing about that spot if he wouldn't have told me. So it's it's amazing I get to hunt that place. It's a great spot. I've gotten to see a lot of animals there. I see elk and deer almost every day. And I, last year I got to see a cougar there as well. It's just full of wildlife and it's an amazing place. And I, I'm truly blessed uh, to be able to hunt it. So that's going to pretty much wrap up uh, today. I'm gonna go home, clean the bird, just kinda get everything situated. I might actually come back up here tomorrow. Uh, I wanna be able to at least try it one more time. I know there's one Tom in there and uh, I'm gonna try to at least get him. I know there's other ones in there. So either way, uh, give it one more shot before I start heading down to uh, uh, Southeastern Washington. So that's gonna be me signing out for this one. See you on the next video.